two out-of-the-box ideas from the audience. One, why not grant Pakistan-administered Kashmir freedom and force India to change its approach? Sorry? Why, why not grant Pakistan-administered Kashmir freedom and force India, therefore, to also change its approach? <laughs> India has already said that they, the, uh, the target is Pakistan side of Kashmir now. Now that they've annexed this Kashmir, uh, I believe that the, what is the future for Kashmir should be decided by people of Kashmir. Whatever the people of Kashmir want. Whatever they want, it's their, it's their right to decide. Initially, the UN res, 11 UN resolutions uh, 70 years ago, they were all about... Uh, a Kashmir, people of Kashmir to decide to, whether to join Pakistan or India. I would add that they, they should be allowed to decide whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So this is a, you know, a, a open offer. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't India and Pakistan both allow them Kashmiris to decide? Mm -hmm. Why do you think Prime Minister Modi traveled to Pakistan early on and then, of course, there was the attack in India that really seemed to change that trajectory that he seemed to tr be trying to pursue. And we had the Foreign Minister Jai Shankar in here this week, who had equally harsh words for Pakistan, saying that Pakistan has turned Kashmir into an industry of terrorism. Well, how did we go from Modi trip to Pakistan to this, and why, I mean, where is that Modi? Well, first of all, Narendra Modi came to Pakistan on the invitation of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. While he visited Pakistan, not once did he not stop trying to make, push Pakistan into being declared a terrorist state. And he tried to differentiate between the Prime Minister and the Pakistan Army. He kept saying that the Prime Minister is, is a good man, but the Pakistan army is a terror, is a terror organization. Uh, look, what has happened, you must understand what has happened since 9-11. Since 9-11, this word Islamic terrorism has been used by, by governments to delegitimize Muslim freedom struggles. Legitimate Muslim freedom struggles have been demonized by just calling them Islamic terrorism. Simple question. There are 900,000 troops in India. Are they there to fight terrorism? I mean, they are saying that uh, one of their defense ministers said there are 500 terrorists lined up on the border to go into India. What are 500, uh, 500 uh, uh, terrorists going to do when there are 900,000 troops there? The 900,000 troops are there to control the population. They're not fighting terrorism. Pakistan fought probably the most difficult war against terror. As I said, we lost 70,000 people. We, we never used that many uh, soldiers. We, you, for counterterrorism, you don't need 900,000 mm -hmm. troops. It's to control the population. And what is actually happening is India is deflecting the state terrorism, which is what is happening in India right now. Uh, you look, read the Human Rights Report. There are two reports on what is happening in the uh, Kashmir Valley. There are two mass graves discovered and so on. So they're deflecting the attention by, as what has happened is, the magic word Islamic terrorism, that it's all because of terrorism, that uh, they're using this uh, force. Unfortunately, uh, the UN has not played its part. It should be sending observers there. Let, let them find out what really is happening. Otherwise, India will keep whatever oppression is happening in Kashmir. They'll blame it on... Uh, a, a, a terrorist from Pakistan. Mm -hmm.